You're a cool fish, aren't you? Yes, you are cool. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Fasonis and welcome to another episode of the Ark Survival Dentist Show. Yay! <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. It's another episode of the Ark Dev Kit. And this time we're gonna look at this bad boy. It's the Electrophorus. And before you're gonna comment with questions again if I'm Dutch. Yes, I'm looking at you. At you. Yes, I am Dutch. So stop asking if I'm Dutch. You don't need to ask that in every video. So, just now you know I'm Dutch. So don't need to ask for that anymore <laughs> and we also gonna look at this one it's the Nideria and you write it down with a C before the end but I don't think you pronounce the C so it's this one and before we gonna take a closer look at this one we're gonna check out the dossier so let's go to that so this is the dino dossier of the Nideria and it says that the Nideria is another example of a creature which should not exist it has threads that seem to come from many types of jellyfish it possesses the size and shape of large egg yolk jellies, the powerful sting of certain box jellies, and the bioluminescence of deep sea jellies. This all combines to make a dangerous creature that lights up in the deepest reaches of the ocean. So now we know that this one lives at the deepest part of the sea, so we can find it over there. And this one will light up in dark, so as you can see in the big picture in the dossier, it will light up and I think the blue color will light up like the anglerfish and maybe the small uh, dots you can you can see also maybe they will change a little bit from colors or they they go from bottom to to the top and that kind of stuff so they, they change a little bit of colors I guess like we see in today's jellies and maybe I can find an example for that on the internet so I will show you that as well what I what I mean for that and let's see what it uh, says more in the dino dossier well, it also says that the Nidaria is normally not an aggressive creature because it lacks normal perceptive senses. It normally just floats on the currents until something gets close enough to sense at which point it will attack. So if you get too close with this one, it will attack you, but, but if you stay away, for example, a few feet or a few meters, then you're fine. And while the attacks of this one is not directly powerful, the stings of it will inject an incredible strong and fast acting sedative. So look out for that one if you come across this, because <laughs> you don't want to receive a sting of this one and getting knocked out underwater, because I don't think that will ha have a happy ending for you. And it also says that the Nidaria is barely more intelligent than a plant. There's no effective method to tame one, so you can't tame this one. Though as dangerous as they can be, a few tribes even keep schools of them around to harvest. Because most tribes kill Nidaria on site, then collect its reserve of powerful sedative to use in technically advanced long distance tranquilizers. So that's interesting, so you can collect the reserve of powerful sedative and use it to make drink darts, as you can see in the picture of the dossier. But we already have drink darts in the game, so I don't know, maybe they're gonna add some new drink darts that are more powerful than the ones we have now. So that would be cool. So yeah, we have to wait and see when it comes in the game and they need to finish the colors and, and the light effects and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I don't know when this one will come out. I don't think soon, but yeah, I hope to see it one day in the game. But let's go on to the Electrophorus because I can't wait to show it to you. It's so awesome. So this is the Dino Dossier of the Electrophorus and it says that occupying a space in the low to middle end of the food chain Electrophorus is a carnivore swimmer that feeds mostly of shellfish and small fish. Despite its common name, it's actually a very long knife fish and not an eel. So there you have it. <laughs> I called it an eel, but it's not an eel, it's a knife fish. So now we know that, that it's not an eel, but it looks like an eel. <laughs> I couldn't help it name it an eel. And it does not provide much meat, so many predators simply leave it be. So yeah, it's, it's not very handy to kill this one if you want some uh, fresh fish meat. Well, it also says that unlike most predators, it does not use brute strength to bring down its prey, but instead it releases an electrical charge around itself to knock its prey unconscious. So that's cool, and alone this one can take out the small creatures, so maybe this one, if you have it one on one, it will take out an anglerfish or that kind of stuff, so that's handy. And when attacking together in groups, 
Electrophorus can even bring down the larger ocean life forms and then feed as a group. So in groups they can take down the Plesiosaur I guess and the Megalodon and maybe even the Mosasaur. So that will be cool. And let's see what it says at Domesticated. And at Domesticated it says that by far the most common use of Electrophorus is to subdue large ocean creatures. Knocking out the Plesiosaur or other giant deep sea leviathan can be incredible difficult. Thus, many tribes employ small schools of electrophores to shock targets into submission. <laughs> I can't wait to see this in action, I can't wait to have a school of those electrophores myself. And yeah, this will be easier to tame the plesiosaur or the mosasaur, because you have some assistance now. So that, that's way way better to tame them and yeah maybe they can keep the aggro so you can just shoot uh, your crossbow at the plesiosaur for example and they will also help you knock it down. So that will be cool and yeah what, what will happen when it is knocked down? Will they keep attacking it? Will they keep biting at it? Because that's not handy. Because once you have it knocked down you don't want to have it attacked again because then the taming effectiveness goes down. So that is tricky I guess with taming. But yeah we have to wait and see how it will be in the game and how the mechanics will work. But at least it's a cool creature and let's check out the animations. And here we are back at animations and we're gonna start off with the night area. And this is the night area and it looks so cool, it has so, so many details. Like you see over here, those small dots. We can uh, see in the dino dossier that it was purple pinkies and, and uh, the rest of it will be blue. And down here this one, the tentacles on the inside will be orange. So I can't wait to see the colors in action and I can't wait to see the light effects of it. And yeah, like I said, I think uh, overall the blue light effects will be like the anglerfish and the small dots. They will change of, of not of colors, but like light bulbs going on and off. At least I think that will happen. And yeah, li like I've shown in the animation of so some other jellyfish, I think this will be it. So let's go on to the other animations. And this one is swimming around. So this is swimming on the current. And as you can see, I have three animations for that. It, it says one is going left, one is going right, and just one is going forward. So these are the animations and I think they look cool. I think they look awesome. They have a nice wave effect. Let's get in closer. Does it have a large mouth or not? Hello? Nope. It looks like an anus. <laughs> I'm sorry for saying that. <laughs> it looks like an anus though. But yeah, these are the animations and you can also hear it and that is this one. So it's a little bit weird. But but yeah, this is the hurt animation, so I don't know how that will work out in the game. But at least now we know all the animations of the Nigeria. And they aren't any other animations, so no attack animation or that kind of stuff. So I don't know how it will attack you, maybe by yeah swimming too close and, and you can touch the tentacles and you get uh, st stung by it. But yeah, who knows? Who knows, who knows? Only the devs knows. <laughs> so let's go on and here you can see the Megalodon and the human. So you have a little bit of size comparison. And maybe this one is going to be smaller because we have seen in the dino dossier a human next to it. And it looked smaller so maybe this one is too big for that. Well, here is the electrophorus. It looks so cool, it looks so awesome. And yeah, I think this will be about the size it will be in the game as well. And I know we have seen a picture of the Megalodon in a dino dossier, but that Megalodon was way too big because the humans were so tiny at that picture. So yeah, I think this will be about the size. Maybe a little bit smaller or even a little bit bigger, but I think Maybe this size or a little bit smaller. But as you can see the textures are already done. And the colors are already done. And I think those those bright yeah, bright orange colors will light up a little bit. Or I at least I can imagine they will light up. So that looks cool. Yeah, it's a it's a nice fish. I, I, I would like to have it. <laughs> so let's go on to the other animations. Well, here we are at the other animations of the Electrophorus. And this one is swimming in idle. 
and yeah I hope you enjoy those animations because <laughs> I enjoy them except for this little part here it would be nice if this little part of the tail would wiggle a little bit more than it does now but yeah this one is swimming and idle and I think it's moving forward slower than this animation this one is swimming forward so this looks faster and yeah now you can see the tail wiggle also more than the one in idle but still it's a nice animation I, I like how it goes it, it it's like a snake and kind of stuff so nice and easy <laughs> and here are the eating animation you can see it eat yum 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 <laughs> So yeah, it does a little bit movement with, with the body and the head a little bit, but yeah, overall a nice animation. And this is the yeah, guess what this animation is? <laughs> it likes it does a tail whip, but this is the lay egg animation, and I don't think uh, those knife fish uh, will lay an egg in the game, so you can read it, but. Yeah, who knows, maybe it does, and at least it says it's a lay egg animation, so now you know that one as well. And let's go on to the attack animations, and here's the first one, it's the bite attack. And yeah, I like the looks of it, I like how it works, and I like the, the body movement. And it's, yeah, it charges a little bit forward, as you can see, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, I, I like this animation. And I don't want to be in front of it when it bites. <laughs> it's a nice attack. Well, let's go on to the other attack animation. And that's this one. Well, I think you all know what animation this will be. Because this is the electro animation. Uh, or the electric charge animation. So it is... Yeah, I, I think you will hear also some electrical sounds. And... I can imagine also to have the electric charges, uh, some kind of lightning effects around it. So this will be awesome in the game. So yeah, I can't wait to see this in the game. <laughs> I want to see it in the game. So bad, so bad, but yeah. I don't know how to find any other animations except for this one. And yeah, we can only dream of the lightning effects and the, and the electric electrical charge effects. But yeah, it is so cool. So this is the animation to knock down uh, the other dinos unconscious. So it's cool. So let's go on to the other animations. You're a cool fish, aren't you? Yes, you are cool. Yes, I know, I know. Okay, it's too fast. <laughs> well, welcome to the taming animations. So let's slow it down a little bit. So this is the animation to uh, knock it down. So this one will getting tamed, as you can see a uh, fast animation is that. So let's move the speed back up to normal. S so it's a quick animation and this one is in idle. So it's nicely hanging in the ocean and not above the ocean like I have now. <laughs> but yeah, this is the one in idle and let's see it eat. So this one will be tamed and eating. And I'm curious to see what this one will eat, because it's a carnivore, and yeah, I don't know what kind of kibble this one will use, or what ki kind of meat. Maybe it prefers fish meat or over prime meat, but yeah, we don't know. Maybe it prefers prime meat as well. But it's a nice animation, I, I like how it goes up and down. And let's go on to the other animations. And here are the two animations of waking up. And yeah, you already guess which one is when it wakes up wild and which one it wakes up when it's tamed. Because the left here, it wakes up and it's wild again. So that's that animation. And this is the animation when it's tamed. And it's so cool. Like at the end, it does some electrical charge. So I bet this one will also show some lightning effects. Or at least I can imagine that. So I <laughs> of course I can bet, but I, I don't know for sure. But yeah, those are the animations for the Electro Forest and we have seen the animations of the Night Area. And let me know in the comment below what you think of this sea creature and of the jellyfish. And if the sizes of this will be something like this or smaller or bigger. 
and the same for the jellyfish and i hope you enjoyed and i hope you like that i have put some water here instead of the normal land textures so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed i hope you like the electro forest and i hope you like the night area we have seen the dino dossiers we have seen the animations of them so if you enjoyed then leave a like and if you have any questions or suggestions what kind of dino we will look into next let me know in the comment below and like always if you haven't already and you want to see more of me in the future then smash that subscribe button like a maniac and i will see you all in the next video bye bye